Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Manila, providing you a video on the topic of Calvinism. And what I want to talk to you about in this video is the evil God that Calvinists believe in. And so Calvinists believe some pretty evil things, and they don't want to really be open and admit that because they want to kind of suck you into their doctrine without you realizing what you're believing. And so people can get confused on the topic of Calvinism because they don't really realize the implications of what they're believing by saying they believe certain doctrines. But what Calvinists actually believe is that when it comes to all this wickedness that's going on, when it comes to being, people being raped and you know, pedophilia and serial killers and stuff like that, that that is something that God wants to take place. And they'll say, well, God is sovereign. In fact, you can see James White on YouTube where he is being asked this question. He was on a radio station, and he tries to dodge the question. And he's asking, you know, is, is all evil, has that been chosen by God? And he tries to just avoid the question. And then he says, well, if, it, if it's not, then God's not sovereign. And so basically by saying God is sovereign, he's basically saying, you know, that every act has been chosen by God. And yes, you know what? God wants pedophilia to take place. Yes, God wants people to be, you know, raped and molested and serial killers to exist. Yes, God wants all those things. God is happy when adultery takes place. God is happy when, ha happy when people have kids out of wedlock. God is happy for people to be hooked on drugs. God is happy for people to be drunk. Now, look. I mean, every chapter in the Bible would go against that belief. But when you look at Calvinists, their, their whole belief system is based on this idea of God being sovereign and us having no free will and their system of Calvinism. And so they choose to reject every single verse because of the fact. If we accept all those verses that disprove us, then God's not sovereign. And so this is a really evil God that Calvinists believe in. Because look, when, when you're a parent and you know your kid has something terrible happen, he gets molested in a Catholic church or whatever, that's not God's will to take place. That's wickedness. It's sick. It's perversion. God doesn't want that to take place. God doesn't want you know your family members to get you know, brutally murdered by these wicked, sick perverts that are out there. He doesn't want serial killers to exist and all these things. And you know, it, it really takes somebody who has a twisted mind to even believe something like that. See, under the pure, all things are pure, but under them that are undefiled and unbelieving, even their mind and conscience is defiled. Bible says. You know, I kind of misquoted that, but even their mind and conscience is defiled, the Bible says in the book of Titus. And see, it, it's a person like James White and these Calvinists, their mind and conscience is defiled to honestly believe that when they see some little kid being molested, that God wants that to take place. What a perverted and sick teaching. But that is the evil God that Calvinists believe in. Thank you, and God bless.